Joe Aribo returning to Rangers. But first, before we get into anything, right? Jose from LAFC. I owe an apology. I thought it was actually him earlier. And you know what? I got Rick rolled. I'll hold the hands up. That was quite a big botch to make. And uh, yeah, turns out it was a Galatasaray fan, which I should have spotted it because I even went through the comments in the Fed and I, and I was like, why is there so many Galatasaray mentions here for like no reason? Turns out it was just a Galatasaray fan that did it. And I should have clicked on, but that's me being an idiot, an idiota. And uh, yeah, so all apologies to Jose, but you know what? I was defending Rangers because I thought he was burying us and uh, turns out he wasn't. So uh, Mon to the club, big man. Anyway, to this video, moving on. Joe Aribo is John Hartson, Celtic man, turns Rangers transfer negotiator over Joe Aribo as he floats price slash to secure return. The former Ibrox hero has struggled since making the move to the English Premier League. Now, I'm going to put this up for a poll, right? Make no mistake about it. I'm definitely going to do that. And it's going to be, would you take Joe Aribo back? It's going to be a simple yes or no question. And to answer that question here, it's an absolute yes from me because I know he left, right? But... Like, players can come and go and leave clubs, etc, etc. I mean, I guess it is a manner of how they leave, whether you would want them back or how good they were. And we've got to be honest, Joe Rebo is outstanding. Even though we've massively bolstered our midfield with the likes of Raskin and Cantwell, right? But imagine Ras Raskin, Cantwell and big silky smooth Joe Rebo. I mean, the fact this guy could play centre mid, he could play off either side of the wing and he could play up front... I would absolutely go for him. Now, if we dive into the article, the few of John Hartson and Stephen McGinn as the duo admit that Southampton could price Michael Beale's men out of a return for the playmaker. Now, of course, we did sign him or sell him, sorry, for six million plus add-ons. It's probably going to be about 10 million, isn't it? If we're going to be honest. But it's been 12 months once the January, uh, once the, the summer window opens since he's been away. Of course, his last game was... Um, his so last game was the cup final against Hearts. Um, he scored for us in that Europa League final. It was all oh, Joe Aribo Rangers 1-0. You'll never forget it. And now it's just not went according to plan. Now, Hartson did say, and you've got to agree with this, the fee would have to come down. It won't be £10 million. It would have to be at least a third of that. I'd take him back in a heartbeat if the opportunity was there. But how would it work financially? Well, that's the thing. How will it work? Will Southampton want a similar fee? I mean, I don't see how they can even attempt it. Ma mangle and a, a, a 10 million fee out of it because the fact that once a club gets relegated right players fees and wages automatically go down and that's the reality here and even if like we were offered like 4 million 5 million to bring a reboot I think you would fucking have to do it right because 5 million to bring a, a player the caliber of Joe Rebo, why would you not do that see instead of being linked with like all these players right that I mean let's be real haven't done it for Rangers why not go for a guy that done it for years at Rangers? And I'm not like Joe Rebo's stats weren't exactly like you know spectacular. I believe him. You compelled them to tell uh, compared them to Tillman. They're worse, but what the guy brought you, man, it's more than what stats do. The guy, like I said, he's so versatile, so silky smooth on the ball, man. He could fucking skin about six, seven players if he wanted. Well, not if he wanted to. He could just do it if he fucking if he turn up. And in my opinion. It's a yes for me. And I, uh, am I saying spend the 10 million? We, no, I, I don't think, because I don't think we should have to. So I haven't got relegated. They're shite. Um, and he's barely featured ever since, like, uh, Russell Hill got sacked. So, yeah. For me, it would be a go for Joe. But for you, what would it be?